Welcome back to Tech Made Simplified. Today, what I have for you is, is a review of the Photodiox EF, EFS to EFM lens mount adapter. This adapter, it connects onto the body of your EF, uh, EOS M and it enables you to mount EF and EFS lenses onto your EF. EOS M. Uh, this adapter has full electronic control, so this means that you get autofocus, you get aperture control, and you also get image stabilization, which um, it really does work. I've uh, I've tested for about a week and it works really well. Uh, w the lens that I have mounted on here is the new Canon EFS 18 through 55 IS STM. So what the STM means is the step uh, stepping motor, which uh, in video is ma mainly made for video and the autofocus is really quiet and you can't hear the autofocus in, during uh, your, your video when you're autofocusing. So it works really well. I'll show you around the mount. The mount, um, it this button right here is to uh, release your lens. So you push it down, and then you twist your lens left to release your lens. And people are concerned about the play or how loose this adapter is on here. When I first got this adapter, it was really tight, but after taking it off a couple of times, it got loose. Uh, I don't know if you could hear this, but I'll put it against the microphone for you guys to hear how, how, uh, how much play it has. It has a little bit of wiggle, but it doesn't wobble, so it's fine. It just kind of moves back and forth in between the locking points. So it's not bad. Up here, where your lens locks in, there is no play at all. So this ensures that you have full con electronic control and you won't lose it. Um, if you buy if you buy this uh, adapter and you have problems with with it, uh, the electronics not working properly and it keeps on coming on and off, then you'll have to take off your lens again and make sure you you uh, put it on tight. That's what happened to me a couple of times. Uh, when I first put it on, the electronics kept on stop, kept on stop, stop working. So I had to put it back on, you know, take it off, put it back on, and then make sure it's tight. And then after that, I had no more problems. On the bottom, it has a tripod mount, and um, <clears throat> how it feels in your hands. It's actually really good. Uh, the tripod mount actually helps in uh, helps stabilizes uh, the camera in your hand. So for me, my hand, how I hold it is like like this, where my hands is under the tripod mount, and my uh, part of my palm is on the camera, and my fingers are over here at the lens barrel. So I don't use manual focus at all. So I don't have to worry about coming all the way over here and manual focusing on the ring over here. So I just keep my palm like this and just zoom in and out. I'll show you guys a little bit about of the autofocus. Let's see, take this off. Let's just focus on the lens cap. put into photo mode. I'll show you guys how fast the autofocus is. It's a little bit too close, that's why. It's actually pretty quick. Um, this this lens on the adapter 
on this camera, um, it actually focuses faster than the uh, native EF uh, M twenty two millimeter F two that I have. It's not going to be as fast as uh, the Olymp Olympus OMD EM five or the EPL five in them. Those have faster processors and uh, faster processing and uh, faster autofocus system. So, but actually, this is the usable for uh, static subjects, which they don't actually move really fast. They they stay still most of the time. So, uh, it actually works pretty well for for that kind of occasion. And then uh, for movie mode. Uh, it's set to servo autofocus, so it all, always look for a focus point, right? And what I've noticed with this lens, it, it hunts a lot constantly. And sometimes it won't catch focus. So the way around it is when, uh, when you want to focus on something close, the bottom button on this control wheel right here, you press down to um, grab focus. So pressing down right here, it actually uh, changes the focus area, but then it also locks focus too. So it works a lot better than uh, half pressing the shutter button because if you half press the shutter button, it'll lock fo focus for a couple seconds, then it'll uh, automatically start hunting again and you lose your lose focus but when you actually press down on the control wheel right here when it it will lock focus and it will stay there until you move into a farther distant uh, subject then uh, it will hunt focus again but to lock focus really quick you just, all you have to do is just press down again on on the control wheel and it will lock focus again on something that's on the dis far distance and then when you switch back to something that's close if you want to snap focus really quick you press down again and then it'll snap focus really quick and I can't show you on this video but uh, maybe I can let me uh, focus on something far and then I'll come back and focus on the on the cap. See how it just catches focus really quick? Let me try that again. Focus on something far. And focus on something close. It snaps into focus really quick. Um, if you buy this adapter, it's on sale on Amazon right now for $60. And the original OEM Canon adapter, which will give you a better fitment if you're willing to shell out the, the money for it, it's about $130 right now. And uh, it, um, that, that's just a little shortcut, the, the autofocus, like uh, what I told you. Uh, pressing down on the control pad right here, it actually gives you. Uh, it's just a short, a short way of uh, a shortcut around uh, hunting all the time. Because if you just, um, if you want it, want it to focus really quick, it won't focus really quick. Even with the native lenses, it'll take a while, and it smooth. It, it, the focus is smooth, but it takes about one to two seconds. And, uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to wait that long, so you snap focus by pressing down. And, and when you press down, it changes the focus area. And I found that it works really well. Uh, what else? Um, and, and the autofocus works well enough to the point where uh, if you're trying to focus on a subject that is not moving or moving really slow it it works okay it won't really track them that well but it'll on this lens what I found is that the depth of field is not that it's not so, so shallow so 
it doesn't have much much trouble focusing so pretty much almost everything's in focus if you put it to f8 so it doesn't have you don't have to really focus that much when you're um, walking around and not looking at something really close but if you're looking at something really close then you'll have to snap press down on the pad right here to snap focus on something really close just remember that when you you could also turn turn um, you can also turn this off the uh, focus lock with during filming with half press of the shutter button but remember that it'll lock focus but it'll lose focus a couple seconds after while pressing down on the on the pad right here it doesn't lose focus it'll just snap focus and then it'll just stay there until you move and then when you move it'll it'll folk try to hunt and focus on something else so uh, it, it's not that bad and you could also manual focus if you're used to used to it but in that case then you would probably prefer like a um, a regular lens like a the, the from something from the e, something that's not STM something that's USM from the Canon line oh and it's something I forgot to mention that this also works for third-party lenses like Sigma Tamron and Tokina I haven't tried any but I'm pretty sure it'll work um, I haven't looked at my pictures to see if it has the EXIF um, um, information in there but I'm I'm pretty sure it, it will but I haven't checked yet so I can't give you a certain uh, a confirmation that it does I'm just guessing it, it probably would but yeah focus is not that bad for an adapter and for uh, auto focusing during during uh, movie mode on with this uh, STM lens is actually really quiet much quieter than the uh, EFM 22 millimeter f2 and this one actually doesn't have much trouble uh, focusing in video uh, like the 22 millimeter does because the 22 millimeter that when you're f2 is really shallow so the focus dis distance from a close subject to a far subject is pretty massive so it takes a longer takes longer for it to focus from a close subject to a far subject or to infinity so in video I actually prefer this lens for video not indoors though because it's 3.5 to 5.6 so it's not it's not a really fast lens I prefer um, the 22 millimeter f2 for in, indoors and I'll just try to snap focus with the with the down key right here and uh, that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions uh, about this adapter or uh, any concerns uh, put it in the put it below uh, and uh, thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you guys next time rate and subscribe